Hi guys, welcome to today's session and today we are going to discuss about uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020, IRV 2020 and in this session we will discuss a brief about uh, IRV 2020 then we will discuss the role of Indian Rhino on ecosystem and biodiversity and uh, then we will discuss translocation of Indian Rhino species and uh, then we will see what are the threats for Indian Rhino species and uh, also the problems with uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020. So this is how I plan this session. Let's now start. The Indian Rhino Vision uh, 2020. Wildlife experts believe that the numbers of uh, Indian Rhinos can be increased to 3000 in the next 15 years. And uh, this idea gives birth to Indian Rhino Vision 2020. And uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020 is being implemented by Department of Environment and Forest Assam that is in partnership with the uh, Bodo Autonomous Council. So remember this point it is implemented by Department of uh, Environment and Forest uh, Assam and uh, this program is supported by WWF India and uh, WWF areas uh, Asian Rhino and Elephant Action Strategy program and uh, the International Rhino Foundation that is IRF the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service saved the Rhino uh, campaign of zoological institutions worldwide and several NGOs and uh, local, local conservation groups are also part of this uh, Indian Rhino vision. And uh, this program aims to increase the total Rhino population in Assam to 3000 by 2020. And the population of uh, Rhinos are to be distributed in various Rhino habit um, uh, habitat uh, in at least seven protected areas in order to uh, provide a long-term sustainable population of one horned Indian Rhino species. Uh, so that is uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020. Now we'll discuss uh, what is the role of Indian Rhino on uh, ecosystem and biodiversity. Indian rhinos they are large herbivorous animals and they shape the landscape and environment and hence they are known as uh, keystone species and by eating only certain kinds of grass and trampling on the dense vegetation the rhinos affect the smaller herbivores of their area creating a cascading effect uh, which in turn affects the other species so that is the major role uh, of Indian rhino on our ecosystem and biodiversity and now we will discuss about the translocation of Indian Rhino uh, species. So friends, uh, today uh, around 80% of Indian Rhino population is concentrated in the most important Rhino habitat that is Kaziranga National Park in Assam and uh, concentrating large number of Indian sp Rhino species in a single protected area exposes them to risk of epidemics, floods, uh, poaching and other threats. Also the Rhinos are uh, in the Pobitora National Park uh, have exceeded their carrying capacity and their numbers have to be reduced in order to avoid rhino human conflicts. So translocation of rhinos to new rhino habitat is the backbone of Indian Rhino Vision 2020 program. The new potential rhino habitat uh, which is identified uh, is Manas National Park and uh, Dibru Saikova National Park and uh, Lakhova Buda Chapori wildlife sanctuary and orang national park so these are the new habitat and um, manas national park was uh, selected as the first uh, new rhino habitat for the translocation of indian rhino species uh, rhinos were once common in this park but violent conflicts uh, civil conflicts beginning in 1989 caused damage to the park infrastructure and destruction of anti-poaching camps roads and the villages and the last rhino which was seen in the Manas National Park was in 1996 and under IRV 2020 uh, rhinos have been released in the Manas National Park and the rhinos uh, have been radio collared for their tracking and anti-poaching camps uh, have been set up in the park and uh, however despite efforts uh, poaching has been a threat uh, for uh, rhinos in Manas National Park due to this reason the translocation of new rhinos uh, in the park has been put on a moratorium and Bura Chapari Wildlife Sanctuary uh, was another site where the rhinos have been translocated from Kaziranga uh, and uh, the death of 
two rhinos uh, here probably due to some disease has been a cause of concern uh, so that is regarding uh, information regarding the translocation of rhinos to new habitat now we'll discuss uh, what are the threats for indian rhino species Separate threats are there. The habitat of Indian rhino ones include the regions of Pakistan, North India, uh, modern day Nepal, Bangladesh, Bhutan and Myanmar. However, loss of large tracts of rhino habitat and its large scale are poaching for its horn, uh, which are believed to have medicinal properties, has been responsible for its extinction in all countries except India and Nepal. In other countries it is already uh, extinct and by 1900 there were only 100 to 200 uh, Indian rhinos in the world however with the conservation efforts the current Indian rhino population has reached a uh, 3500 uh, so in 1900 it was 100 to 200 now uh, 3500 and IRV that is Indian rhino vision uh, uh, aims to improve this to another 3000 uh, by 15 years in 15 years uh, however, the threats against the rhinos have not vanished. For example, Manas National Park where the rhinos were translocated have seen several instances of poaching and due to this reason, the translocation of more rhinos uh, has been on a moratorium. We have discussed that point and diseases and natural disasters are other threats to the rhino population. The death of rhinos in the Bura Chapori Wildlife Sanctuary has been probably due to some disease which is a cause of concern for the rhino population and also human-animal conflict at the Pobitora National Park and Kaziranga National Park can also become a major threat for the rhino population if it is not handled properly. Uh, so these are the information regarding the threats of uh, Indian rhino species and uh, the next point uh, is uh, what are the problems with the Indian Rhino Vision 2020? So friends, as we discussed the trade of valuable parts, uh, we have seen the horn of rhino is being traded in countries such as China and Vietnam is a major roadblock on uh, Indian Rhino Vision 2020. Further, uh, the lack of space in national parks such as Kaziranga and Pobitora is an emerging uh, uh, big problem and this can increase the problems of human animal conflict and also there is one drug that is called uh, etorphine uh, the Im this drug has to be imported and uh, this is a tranquilizing drug of choice uh, which has been a big challenge and this drug is essential for translocation of rhino population to other places so remember the name of this drug etorphine uh, it can be asked a question in prelims and um, uh, this is a very challenging task, the import of this uh, drug. However, zoos from uh, Australia and other countries have donated around half a million dollars for the conservation of Indian rhino species under the Indian Rhino Vision 2020. So this uh, program is ongoing. We will uh, see in the coming days the progress of this uh, initiative. Anyways, uh, this is an important uh, topic guys, uh, I, an expected question in the mains examination and, and also in the prelims. Uh, you can uh, be asked the facts about the rhino population in India. Uh, so that is it. Uh, that's all for today. We'll meet tomorrow with another topic. Thank you for watching this lesson.